Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm witty and insightful. Witty and insightful. <laughs> Another kiss? Yes. Your brownie sister. Oh, we got married. Yes. Celebrity bill? Okay, if you're here for um, centre of attention, follow me. Welcome to the grid. Welcome to the grid. Welcome to the grid. Thank you all for coming up here. This area is known as the grid. Normally it's not accessible to the public. A couple of years ago I was sessioned to make a couple of films for the BBC series Simon Sharma's Power of Art. And I had to make them in Cambridge and they had to be about the painter Caravaggio. And there were no Caravaggios in Cambridge so it was quite a difficult brief. Caravaggio's work is shock theatre designed to move the flock. So I thought I'd try and find some contemporary work in Cambridge that had a similar kind of transformative visceral effect on me. Cat Moore, who was the performance programmer then, he gave me a little tour of the building, which included coming up here and walking on this tension wire grid. And it was the most transformative and visceral experience I'd had up until that point. So it stayed with me. And uh, last year I was giving a lecture at Tate Modern in London, and I proposed during that lecture that I would like to install a tension wire grid at the uh, sixth floor balcony level of the turbine hall. The largest tension wire grid in the world is in Portugal, and that's about 2,000 square metres. And both the Portuguese and this grid were both installed by the same company, who are based in the north of England, and I've been working <coughs> with them on this project, and they have costed the budget at about £900,000 to do the whole turbine haul, which I think is probably a bit much. <laughs> if you were to do a sixth of the turbine haul, that would be about £150,000, which is, you know, within the realms of arts budgets in the 90s. And anyway, I'm not famous enough yet to be allowed to do a commission in the turbine hall, so, you know, in 20 years, who knows. Anyway, in lieu of being able to actually install it in the Tate Modern, I thought I'd invite you all here today to have a little walk on the tension wire grid, and I'll use this as evidence in my ongoing research project to install the work in London. It can take up to 20 people, apparently, because we had a bricklayer in earlier who built the junction about five years ago, and he remembers vividly about 20 bricklayers bouncing up and down on this. <laughs> but we're not allowed to do that today. So we only have four on at once. Would you like me to get on first? Yeah. Just to prove that it's safe. <laughs> and actually, it's very important that we take everything out of our pockets. Otherwise, we could kill somebody. Earlier on, we had somebody who had vertigo, and so they had to go downstairs to watch the performance. Stuart Hobday from Norwich Arts Centre. He could have been killed if somebody had left something in their pockets. Then where would that leave Norwich? <laughs> if three people want to follow me on... Now, the holes in the grid are such that I think if you have less than about a size 6 children's shoe, you could kind of slip through a bit. This bit's had to go with the gaffer tape. Yeah, don't step on that bit. And this structure here is just for the lights to be hung on, so this isn't actually structural at all for the grid. The guy earlier remembers none of this being here and just the grid being a huge open expanse. <laughs> you can bounce on it. You can lay down as well on it. It's quite comfortable. No, thank you. I've not, I've not. <laughs> It's like one of those memory foam mattresses. I find it really And fun. also, uh, my heel keeps getting stuck in the square. Oh, look, Anthony's down. That's good. Okay. <laughs> it's quite. I've never really. How does it feel, Roberts? Really good. It doesn't feel totally safe, really. Mm. It's like the. Uh, He'd fall through. <laughs> Try and do a loop de loop. <laughs> yeah. Do they have to maintain it? Like, you know, kind of tighten it up? Who checks it? I, I, I don't have the answers to that question, Shay. <laughs> I'm afraid. I, I'll try and find out. <laughs> it's interesting that you should wait until you're in the centre of the grid before asking such a question. And it's all made from one very long piece of wire that zigzags across. Uh, one piece? No, I don't think it is. I'm just trying to figure oh, you out. <laughs> there's a bit of tape on top. Yeah, there's yeah, a bit of tape on one of them. Excited? I don't think I'm going to go on actually. Really? Uh, just a little bit. Oh. How high up is it? Maybe less than 10 metres here? Yeah, I think it's 10 metres. Yeah. Up. Yeah. yeah. So if we were to do it in the Tate Modern, it would be about three times the height. <gasps> Thirty meters high. Yeah. Get that all achieved and done. Tip. <laughs> What's it like? Yeah. I just thought that about falling. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that we might be able to develop some kind of transparent wire, like some kind of fiber yeah. optic cable. That would give it a kind of edge, I think. Has everybody been on? Everyone that wants to go on? Marvellous. Are you going to start up kind of fundraising? <clears throat> That's a very good idea. I hadn't considered that. Would you like to donate to the <laughs> <laughs> fund? You could buy yourself a little empty space. Oh, you could buy a pixel, couldn't you? You could, you could like, buy... sponsor a pixel. That's a good idea. So we're rooting for you, Richard. <laughs> you yeah. know, we're kind of suggesting ideas. Yeah. Well, thank you. The idea exists now in your collective consciousness. It does. And there it will stay and hopefully grow into something more tangible. <laughs>